Hi everybody, welcome to part 3 of changing over from trad to water fed pole. Um, now that we've established what our water quality is using a TDS meter from the previous video, we can establish whether we need uh, a row system or, in my case, uh, a DI system. That's what I use, it's, uh, it's really convenient. I did have a row system but uh, uh, I realised I didn't need it in this area because my water quality is really quite good. Um, what you'll need to do is get a, a feed from a hose. You can actually do this from indoors, but it comes inconvenient. So what I've done is set up a tap system, an outdoor tap here, as you can see, and that feeds uh, my DI system. I used to have my row system up here. You can still see the screws, but uh, really, if you need a row system, um, it's best to try and get it indoors somewhere, like in your garage or something, because uh, if the temperature drops, uh, several degrees below freezing you'll find it will damage it outdoors. Um, you could actually use the indoor tap to uh, fill your barrels if you're using a barrel system uh, through your DI system in case of severe weather. But my hose comes around here. And what you need to do if you've got this uh, if you're going to use a DI system like this just put a split in your hose uh, get uh, some hose lock connectors on each side like that and uh, a male to male there so that you can take the DI out of the circuit sometimes so you don't waste it when you want to water the flowers, wash the car or whatever um, just put the connectors straight on like this they clip on there nicely can't quite do it with one hand but you can see what I'm doing uh, there's an in and an out there, take note of that although somebody said uh, it doesn't really matter now this will fill the barrels up really quickly, whereas a, a rose system won't, and you'll need some uh, water butts uh, to be able to store your uh, purified water. Whereas in this case, it just comes out almost as fast as a ordinary uh, from an ordinary tap. It will fill the barrels up really quick. In this instance, I've put um, another cut here, so if I want to, I can fill the barrels up just in this space here, or of course it will just go way over to the front of the property where I can fill them up there I can even fill them up in the vehicle but um, of course never leave the vehicle while you're filling up barrels within the vehicle because uh, it'll just overflow so for now that's my system so uh, look forward to the next part where I'll be discussing uh, whether we want a trolley system or um, what sort of poles we're going to use brushes all that sort of thing in part 4 but for now, job done.